I mean, with this job you hit all sorts, manholes and all sorts, you just, it's inevitable. But you've not been told that. It's that. inevitable, you're just <laughs> going to find things, aren't you? So, yeah. And as I said, they're pretty bumper of these moments. Some of the things that I put through, I mean, <laughs> in time that I've driven them. Yeah. You, you, it wouldn't believe it, like. It is one hell of a customer review for you in this episode. So today we are out with uh, the world famous Wilson Contracting. Uh, we've come for a good look and see how they're getting on with their Chrome Big M 450 self propelled mower. I'm piloting that mower and again I've been told what this man doesn't know about mowing isn't worth knowing. <laughs> so I'm joined by Mr. Uh, Philip Whitfield. So, Phil, as ever, before we dive in to, uh, to this big end, this fair old beast that we've got here today, just tell us a little bit about Wilson Contracting. Well, we're uh, based in Lancashire, uh, Preston, Lancashire, probably do silage contracting uh, within a 20 or 30 mile radius of Preston, chop about 12,000 acre a year, which this machine should mow over half of that by itself. And for chopping wise, I believe, you know, you're no know strange yeah. to Crohn's, you've yeah. got, is it a pair of Big X 1180s? Three 1180s. Oh, you've got three 1180s now. A 780, but just in our contracting fleet, we usually run two 1180s, and then yeah. there's the higher side of things as well, there's 30 odd foragers in the fleet. So it's a fair, the higher side of it yeah. is a fair old size of the business. Yeah, five or six Big M's, um, which are all over the country really, right. some in Ireland. Cool stuff. And then in this area that you mostly contract, what sort of customer types have you got around here? I'd imagine there's a lot of dairy it's around here. It's all mainly dairy that we do. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's three or four cups a year, big dairy farms. Um, and it's not all good flat stuff like we're in today. It's little sides, little fields. So uh, machines, brilliant for that, really. And how long have you been running the, the Crone Big Ems? On and off for the last five or six years, really. Yeah. We ran 420 crones before we had these. Um, we had a couple of them and then we moved on to these newer ones. It's done 6,000 acre now, this machine. Um, up to now, and there's still a lot to go yet. So. Yeah. And what age was this one again, sir? It's 2023. It's 2023. It's brand right? new this time. So. Right. So you've done 6,000 acres, right? 6,000 acre. Right. In uh, less than 200 mowing hours, 6,000 <laughs> acre. So this, these, these big M's then, from What's uh, first attracted you guys to these then? It's amazing how much better it is than a set of triples. People yeah. think like, oh, a big tractor and a set of triples will boss that all day long, but it, it's like the manoeuvrability and the power, it's 450 horse, so you, you're not short on horsepower. Yeah. Um, the ability to group things, you can, like, it's got groupers on it, so you can pull the inside row in and uh, they're just a good all-round machine, really. I mean, yeah. you've to be doing a lot of mowing to justify one. I was going to say, yeah. But if you've got the acres to cover, it's, it's probably it's well probably worth having, worthwhile, yeah. yeah. I mean, in this day and age, you're nearly at the price of a a 400 horsepower tractor and a set of mowers anyway. And in terms of cutting width on this, what sort of width will you This is 10 metres, nine, just shy of 10 metres. Yeah. So. so coupled with that 450 horse, you'll be able to fairly oh, yeah. get up. It does 25k in field mode and it's rare you're not doing that really. I mean it's quite a heavy crop in here today, so yeah. it might slow us down a bit, but it's, uh, it'll do 30 acres an hour, no problem. Right. And how many acres can you actually do in a day? I mean you say you've got 30 acres per hour easy, but you know, uh, on, a, on a good day if you're pushing it, what can you squeeze in a day? Last week 
Um, it was a 12 hour day and I did 400 acres by myself. And it wasn't good fields like we're in today, it was a bash of leaves, if anybody knows what that's like. Right. Little fields and wet. If you're local so, and you're watching this, you might know. You might know what bash of leaves <laughs> is like, so yeah. Um, it'll do 400 acres in a day, in a handy day by itself. And like say you got 450 horse yeah. behind you yeah. uh, from that lever straight six engine. So, does it, I mean it sounds like it does know about it. Yeah, I mean it's it's got two engine modes so when it's in eco it sounds like it's dogging it but really it's just the engine management not putting the extra power on when it doesn't need it. I mean All right. it's in M power now and we're fairly pushing on. But yeah doesn't bother it, it can sit at 110% engine load all day this thing, it yeah. just doesn't, it's still only using like 2 litres an acre of diesel, it's not, really? no more than a tractor would, cruising at 22k there, 110% engine load and it'll just sit at that all day long. Just happy as Larry. Happy as Larry. Right, and you say there's like various modes is there that you can play there's, with it? There's two engine power settings, it automatically changes between them, there's an eco mode which is, I think it's like 300 horsepower or something like that. And then obviously as it feels load come onto it, it changes up into the higher range right. by itself. So and that's all down just to, to diesel, save, saving diesel. Save fuel, yeah. right. If you're in a real light crop, you can mow all day in eco mode. It yes. doesn't, doesn't need that extra power line. Right. This thing never gets hot. It's um, with the radiator being at the back, it's not like a tractor where you, you're uh, always cleaning radiator out. This thing, I very rarely clean a radiator out. It's, uh, one of its bonuses, it always stays cool. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just going back to sort of various field sizes, because as I know all too well around here, they do vary a hell of a lot. We're in nice big fields today, you just mentioned a few little awkward ones as well. Um, yeah. How does it cope with like that variety of field shapes and sizes? I mean, very well. Um, even little fields, two acre, three acre fields, you, you're in and out in no time. It, it folds out fast, folds up quick. Not like in the past we've had the Cougar and it, I've done field bit time it's folded out. So this thing you can bang fold down, two mowers are down and you're yeah. away. Um, it does manage little fields very well. Turning circles awesome on it, you can get right into corners. Yeah. You get further into corners with this than you will be attracted. I was going to say, it looked like it just as we were going around the corner, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And um, would you say it's, I mean, compared to the tractor, it does look like it's a lot more manoeuvrable. Yeah, tractor. it is really like you come into end of your run, and with a tractor you have to do like lock to lock to get it round. Yeah. Whereas with this, you can just like half turn each way, and it's spinning round like. Yeah. It's, uh, so as well as like the power and the speed of this machine, I suppose you'll make up a lot more time as well with that better manoeuvrability, oh, not not missing as much as well. The, the that, that's where it makes its time up, I think, on the end on the headlands when you turn it round. As we attract it, sometimes you nearly do it.